Hey guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair, and today we're going to talk about the um, Y dimension on the uh, clutch setting here. And this is on a uh, this is a 2007 125 SX. And basically, what we're talking about here is, and when you put the clutch um, slave cylinder on right here, there's a gasket inside here, and KTM gives you three different gasket sizes to use for this. And what it has to do with how far this this uh, push rod is right here. It's uh, slippery with oil, but I can kind of grab it and pull it out there a little bit. You know, this this is the one that's coming in underneath your clutch. So um, this goes all the way in, and depending on how worn your clutch is, how far this thing is going to be sticking in and out. Um, imagine a um, cable clutch, how you adjust that little bit of free play in there. You adjust it in the cable. It's a, kind of the same thing we're doing here. So if you have a really thick gasket here and you put the slave cylinder on, the piston and the slave cylinder is going to be too far away. So you're going to have to squeeze the lever a whole lot more in order to activate the clutch and push that in. So by doing that, your clutch is going to deactivate all the way in. The lever is going to have to be in further, and it's going to activate really close to the bar. And on the other end, if you put a really, really thin gasket there and you mount it on, it's going to be right up against it. So as soon as you start pulling that clutch, it's going to start pushing that. So it's going to disengage, disengage far out and it's going to engage when the lever is all the way out. So you don't want to just wing this stuff and just throw the middle gasket in there. Um, that's what, what, what some people do, just, just use the middle one, um, you know, middle ground there. It's easy to set it up, so uh, let's take a look and let me show you. And basically what you have to do is you have to measure the distance between this flat surface right here and the center push rod, okay? So you need, there's a special tool you can use for it. It's got a flat surface that you put across here and here, and then you slide it down. Now, if you're like me, most people have um, calipers like this right here, and you really can't do that because when you set this up on the side, you're, you're not able to get down to the middle. So what you want to use is just some type of washer, some type of device that you can put flat on the surface. This whole surface is flat right here. And I like using this washer because with the washer, okay, I can put this, kind of right there and then slide the center piece out. You can see the center part of the caliper sliding out. So I'm able to mount this flat on here and then slide this out. All right, that's why I like using this um, a um, washer like this right here. So first you gotta start out with setting it at zero. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the flat surface right here. I'm just gonna put the washer on there. I'm gonna take the caliper. Okay, caliper is, uh, it's on right now. We have it on, uh, let's see what we have it on here. Okay, there's metric, zero it out. I'm gonna put it right on here and I'm just gonna base it out, okay? So right there, I just have it, all I did is put it flat on the uh, washer right there and I slid the center out until it hit that the base right there, okay? And then I'm gonna zero it. So now I'm starting out at zero. Now I'm gonna go over here to the side where the um, push rod is, and do the same thing, except I'm gonna put it flat on the on the washer and I'm just going to slide it down until it touches the push rod right there okay and I'm at 3.58 millimeters all right so 3.58 millimeters then you go to the owner's manual and you can see here 3.58 millimeters we're going to be okay it's going to be the thinnest gasket a 0.30 millimeter gasket it's 3.0 to 3.3 millimeter so this has a new clutch, new metals and everything in there, so it's pretty pretty thick set up. So the, um, the push rod is going to be all the way in. So um, we're going to use the thinnest gasket, which is going to be a 38. So that's how I do the uh, Y dimension. It's real simple, and you can use it with a basic uh, caliper like this. Okay, again, you just set it up here. Use the surface. Zero it. I'm gonna try to bring you in close as I can. This is a helmet, I mean a hat camera right here that I got set up, hat mount. Right there till it touches, bring it up. Okay? So that's all you gotta do. Real simple. Don't take shortcuts. Use the right gasket. Uh, the clutch will feel a lot better. Make sure you bleed it out properly and all that other jazz there. Get that all right, but that's simple. I'm going to be doing a, a video next on the X dimension as soon as we get the uh, piston. I'm waiting on the piston to come in. As soon as we get that, I'll show you how I use. Uh, got a couple tools I made for the X dimension, and we'll do that one next. All right. That's all I got for you now. I'll see you next time. Typical cycle repair.